So today we will continue from tutorial 3 of our TensorFlow tutorial for machine learning and data science. So we've imported the image, the Fashion MNIST image dataset from Keras. So now we want to view these images in Jupyter Notebook. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below so that when you subscribe, you don't miss an update. If I make new lessons, you get notified immediately and you'll be able to follow it. So this is the best way to learn. And this is the easiest lessons you have because I break them, break them down into very small chunks for beginners. So please hit the subscribe button. And if you don't, if you have any challenges, please let us know by making a comment below to mention the challenges you have. All right, now we split this image into four parts, train images, train labels, test images, and test labels. Train images and train labels correspond to the training data set, while test images and test labels is the test data set. Now, how many images are they? I could say, for instance, train, let's see how many training uh, uh, sites, how many, how much the training sites are. Train images, you can use dot shape to see how many of uh, how many rows and columns are there all right so we have we have 28 by 28 and we have 60,000 images and this is how tensors work this is 28 by 28 pixels image and we have 60 60,000 of them so this is very light data set and i already told you that the images look like this so this is just a kind of representation of the images and each of the image correspond to one of these, either a shirt, a trouser, a pullover, and stuff like that. So we want to create a model that can take an image of a cloth and then classify classify it to tell us how many um, how many how many um, to tell us what class or what cloth is that does that image correspond to? Um, what else do we check? So let's check how many of how many labels are there. I'm going to say train train labels uh, if I go train labels it displays array blah 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 okay so let's check how many unique labels are there so I could say dot unique dot unique I don't I think it's gonna work okay so I think it's gonna be dot unique in this way uh, I think I already did this let me see Okay, so the syntax is np.unique, np.unique. So we have np.unique. So you, you'll see that we only have 10 items in the labels. Train uh, labels. So you'll see that we only have 10 items or 10 classes, 0 to 9, okay? And this 0 to 9 correspond to what I showed you, 0 for T-shape, trouser, pullover, pullover for two and so on okay then how do we see these images yeah we are talking about 60,000 images we've imported into our workspace and how do we actually see these images so let's see to view the same images we are going to use uh, use a figure plot uh, for instance we have the train train image image zero Train image zero contains the first image, uh, but if I run this at this point, you see it doesn't. Uh, train image is zero. Let's just try and see if it works. See, so it gives us the array. So this is not what we want. This is a 28 by 28 array of the image. Okay. Um. So let's now see. Let me try to now use a plot to plot it. Train image is zero. Okay, so I'm going to say plt .figure. So in this case, we are going to use matplotlib to plot it. I'm going to say plt plt dot i am show. So you have to use i am show to show an image. So i am show is going to show the image, and if I run it at this point, hopefully it's going to display the image as you can see. So this is just one image, and we are saying that there are 60,000 of these images uh, available in our data set. I like to display a color bar against this image. So let's see the changes in color in this image, or the colors that make up this image. I'm going to say plt 
the color bar. So I want to actually see the colors that make up the image. There's color bar, and I'm going to say plt dot show so that it doesn't print these outputs in this way. So if I run it at this point, I will have a color bar showing that we can see it's a gradual gradient uh, in color, changing color from dark to pure yellow. So where we have dark, where the color is zero, it means that there is no pixels there. Pixels there, and when we have 255, we have uh, the brightest place. Uh, we, the place we have the brightest image. Now this means that if we have higher numbers, it means that that particular pixel will be activated, but when we have zero, it's not activated. Now this is about neural networks, and we are going to be talking about it a bit later on. All right, so this is the image at this point. So we are going to move on to the next part. I would like to mention that maybe you can try to visualize other images. Maybe try image seven, maybe image seven or image eight, and you can see it is something else, okay? All right, so I'm going to stop here uh, because I've said I'm going to be taking it bit by bit. And in the next part, we are going to now see how we can do some analysis to display an image map of several images in a grid form. And then we talk about building the model. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. We are going to now be moving on to tutorial four. And I would like to recommend you subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below at this point. And then we see in tutorial four.